Today's uh, scripture passage is the famous story from Mark 8 about uh, Peter trying to figure out who Jesus is. And uh, that's our theme for today, asking worthy questions. And the questions that we ask uh, in life determine the value that we get out of life. So think about what kinds of questions we need to ask. You might remember uh, a number of years ago, there was a very famous uh, Russian comedian, Yakov Smirnov. How many people remember Yakov Smirnov? He was in a uh, couple of movies. He actually is a performer at Branson, Missouri now, if you ever go down to Silver Dollar City uh, down there. When he first came up, he had a comedy routine. One of the things that he would say was that uh, he was amazed at the United States of America and uh, the incredible use of instant products. And he said that uh, when he went on a shopping trip, he saw powdered milk. You just add water and you get milk. <laughs> and then the next time he went to the grocery store, he saw powdered orange juice. You add water and you get orange juice. And then the next time he went to the grocery store, he saw baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> And so they said, well, okay, let's have all of you put 
see if that changes your performance. And so they used a, a number of different words that they could use when they ran out to the car. And the word that worked best for their time and for their performance was the word smooth. These guys in the Formula One team, if they had in their mind smooth, they were able to perform better than fast. Think about the words that we have in our mind as we live our lives. What if we use that word smooth, you know? I mean, as Christians, we can maybe say, you know, Jesus smooth. You know, what, what words could you use? If you're a fan of the Blues Brothers, you might be able to say, I'm a soul man. You can live that out. If you're a Bob Dylan fan, you might say, covenant woman. You might use that song. What three words would you use to identify and make your life smoother? What words are helpful to have in your mind? What do you profit if you gain the whole world, Jesus said? The whole world, and then you lose your soul. A lot of people lose their soul because they never ask a question. Because they never become intentional. Because they never make a commitment. There are many ways that we are intentional in life, and that can teach us something. Healthy, wealthy, and wise, right? We all want to be beautiful and wealthy and smart, and we put a lot of time and energy into those things. We all know what a 401k is or a 529 savings plan. We all know what it takes to be healthy. But do we know what it takes to take care of our soul? To ask the important questions like, what is the purpose of my life? What will make me come alive? Intentionally, regularly, through the decision that you make. Throughout his teachings, Jesus dangles these life-changing questions. And Jesus knew that the questions you ask in life will determine the quality of your life. He called people, follow me, so that they would become intentional about the life of the Spirit. So this rally day, become intentional. And I want you to just, as Jesus had intended, for you to consider that dangling question that he offered. Is there anything more valuable than your soul? Amen.